Yeah, t- tell me if you're uncomfortable with any of this. <laughs> just, just take your best shot. We'll see how we do. All right, all right. You can always edit it out. Sure, sure. My inspiration for recording body sounds is I just could never find them all in one place, and never they never sounded quite the way I wanted them. And that coupled with this this obsession I've had all my life of hearing and making body sounds. Um, I, 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 I can remember, like it was yesterday, I met my buddy Donnie Seymour in freshman year of high school, and he did this. And he made this drip sound. I thought, how did you do that? And he taught me how to make that drip sound. And ever since then, I've been trying to learn the skill, and a, a, a lot of the sounds in this library are my performances and my vocalizations of things. I mean, you know, it's like, and, you know, wiggles and gobbles and, oh, there's a better trumpet. <laughs> so I've, I've been obsessed with learning those skills because in my early career at Hanna-Barbera, which was a cartoon studio in the 60s and 70s and 80s, that was the fodder for funny sounds was making them with your mouth. And I got to train with guys like Mel Blanc, who knew how, who had the facility, and Frank Welker, to make funny sounds with their mouths. And I was, I was, I was jealous of that. So I, I wanted to develop my own facility of making those sounds, as well as create a library of all these sounds so that when I was editing, I knew I could go to one place if I was trying to get a body pat or a finger pop. This is a really dumb one. I recorded 15 versions of scratching yourself. And this, you know, when you scratch your head, you you hear it inside your head a certain way, and I thought, I've never found that sound in a library. I could never find it. So this was a way of recording and capturing things that I could never find that were very good and having it all in one place so it was efficient and easy to use. There's the scratching sound. That's the hair scratch. Right? Yeah. That, that's a super kind of cartoony, you know, that's like uh, Muttley or one of those funny canines in a, in a cartoon, you know, with his hind legs scratching. It's a little over-exaggerated. But you play that down nice and low, it beds in pretty nice. <laughs> so were you actually sick when you... Oh, yeah, um... I just did this again. I got really sick with a virus, not COVID. And I had that like, ah, yeah. kind of wheezy thing. And I have, this was a real cough. And that's another thing. Coughs, I found, were really hard to get because no one wants to record themselves. Nobody wants to work when they're sick. And, and coughing and especially asthma sounds in the library, I had like lie down on the floor. I can't breathe, wheezing. And I, but in the midst of that, I thought, I got to record this. I'm literally <laughs> in my bedroom on the carpet, and I'm like, <gasps> and I went and got my <coughs> handheld recorder, and I put it down. I just, <gasps> and I got about five minutes of, of wheezing. So all of this is not me faking coughing but at, or wheezing. It was capturing myself in the midst of something. <laughs> So you've talked about some of the performance sounds. Yeah. What about some of the natural sounds that you recorded? Well, everything is na- every, everything from the body is natural. Well, I mean, so, uh, I mean, be- uh, I'm being polite. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what about the things you don't have as much control over? The good news about the impolite sounds is that most of this library was captured uh, during the pandemic when none of my family was around the house. So I had fr- and this. I don't even know how to say this, but I, I, I recognized the um, nutritional triggers, if you will, that helped um, encourage the process that was required to generate a variety of these sounds. And this was something that was sometimes not so fun. <laughs> But uh, I, I've always been willing to subject my body to a little bit of discomfort to get what I needed. And it's also something that you want to do in private. So the fact that my family wasn't in the house for six months made it a lot easier to just do whatever I wanted whenever I wanted. Well, here's a good example that won't embarrass you. Oh, stomach growls. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Yes, yes. So the stomach growls are kind of interesting because, again, I learned what my food triggers were and I learned my digestive cycle. And I knew that four hours from taking a certain type of food, I could trigger that. And what's kind of fun about those interior body sounds, because I also did heartbeats and a bunch of other interior sounds, um, is that I used a headphone as the microphone. And the reason is, is that I used a, like an, a closed headphone, and it makes the perfect isolation environment because you're putting the cup right around and a speaker is the same thing as a microphone. It's just sending the signal in a different direction. So a speaker and a headphone, when plugged into a microphone preamp, becomes a microphone. So a headphone, you plug your headphones into a mic preamp, now you have a sound recorder, you have a microphone. So I could isolate that on my duodenum or wherever it was that I had to put the thing, and I just wait for the fun to happen after having had a certain kind of meal. I think that's the rudest sound that they gave me to... Uh... Oh, there's many more rude ones than that, but um, <laughs> those are hard to stomach, perhaps. I also, I, I think I have a lot of snoring in the library. I, I, would, I developed a special boom pole with a rig. I, I, I don't move much when I sleep, and I would set a timer on my recorder, and I would hang this clamp rig and a mic that would drop down just above my head like this. I always fall asleep on my side, and I always had a, a microphone like right here, and I captured hours of snoring of myself. <laughs> There's a whole category of sounds in this library that are very lighthearted. Uh, I mean, I, I did a lot of mouth manipulation, like... These are the kinds of sounds that nobody wants to make and nobody's thinking about making, but I'm constantly hearing the, you know... And there's just a million of them. Uh, so I made a, a series of just funny noises with my mouth and nose and hands that might be useful. I wanted to think outside the box of sneezing, coughing, snapping, patting, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, those are the body sounds we all are familiar with, but there's this other universe of, of funny noises you can make with your mouth, that are, with your lips. You're like... <laughs> That's going to make a great motorboat <laughs> in a cartoon someday. Please don't judge me. <laughs> <laughs> There are some very challenging sounds in this library. I hope they are useful. <laughs> My biggest fear is that this will be a popular library and some talk show host will find out that Academy Award winner Mark Mangini recorded himself X and I'm <laughs> going to have to go on a show and talk about this. And that's what I'll be famous for. Not the, f the, the artful and nuanced soundtracks that I made. It will be for a fart sound. 